Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is William, aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. Haven't done a video in a minute. Uh, so I'm cleaning out my, my mirror here so the reflection is clear and not all not all dusty. But yeah, I put that mirror there so we can have kind of like a like a look, it kind of, on the screen it looks like a little like a little uh window I look, I like a like an extra little window so you, like an extra screen kind of where you can see my face there's no particular reason why i have it but uh it's not supposed to do anything special but just so you can see me while i talk and stuff um but yeah it's been a minute that i posted a video I've been working. I just, you know, I, I come out with the camera and everything. I just end up listening to podcasts all day long and don't record. I think also because it gets really slow for me. And when it's really slow, I'm not like super pumped. So I don't have like, I don't know. I just don't feel like talking. Yeah, I just got two dollars for 20 bucks. Very far away, but let's do it. But yeah, guys, uh welcome long time no see um but yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of give you guys uh what's been going on lately kind of catch up with y'all a little bit um but first let me uh do this uh delivery uh let me just do this uh, drop off that i got it's up here somewhere so i'll be right back so it's um thursday december 22nd only a few days away from Christmas, the year's about to be over, y'all. Damn, that was quick. This has, has to be one of the fastest years that's gone by ever. Could be just me. I don't know, or it could just be. The, it could just be the what happens when you get older. Time just goes by faster. Who knows? I had a theory about that. I, I, I used to think that uh, when you got older, the reason time get, feels faster is because it's more uneventful than when you're younger. When you're younger, you tend to do a lot of shit all the time, and it feels like you did a lot that year. So the, the, it just makes the year feel a lot longer. Versus when you got older, you start kind of falling into a routine. You just work, and uh, there's very few days that you start kind of going out. It's kind of sad, actually hasn't been a really exciting year. I mean, there's been a few cool things, but not that crazy, which is what makes the years feel short, like faster, you know? You can think like, you can think of like five things you did that year, but that's it. I mean, I just have a terrible memory. Damn, look at this girl just crossing the street. And the Tesla just taking it. Y'all seen that? Anyway, the year's about to be over. It's about to be 2023. Gotta start planning some stuff for next year. Make the year feel long as hell. <laughs> but uh, anyway, per usual, every time it, you hit winter, it starts getting cold. I've been uh, coming out here with a bunch of layers on. I look inflated. I look like a like a I was gonna say football player, but not really. More like a, you know that Michelin guy. The he's like all white. He's all fluffy. That's how I look when I wear all my thermals and then a sweater and then another sweater, then thermal pants, then thermal, then sweats, then jeans on top of that. I got socks on and then wool socks. I got gloves on. I just look all poofy. I feel like if I get in an accident, I won't feel a goddamn thing. I'll just roll around a few blocks, just bounce around like a ping pong. Ding, 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 ding. And just get out, like, where's my ruckus at? I'm like so fluffed up with all these layers. But, uh, you know, it's just to stay warm because it's getting cold. I mean, oh man, I can't even complain. Like I told you guys, every time I complain, I think about all my peeps out in the West Coast. Over here is 50 degrees and I'm dying. I'm basically becoming a popsicle. And over there, it'll be like zero degrees. Like, how is there even such a thing as it being zero degrees? I don't even understand the concept. But that's how cold it'll be over there. All right, I got a pickup right here. It's kind of fat. I think a lot of people got a pickup. All right, guys, hold on. Order number one. 
took a bit they're busy it's it's uh, 11 30 so it's you know it's getting busy right now lunch rush um you know it's crazy it's a funny story that i'm actually recording today um uh i was riding and uh i was talking to him uh right now raul but i i, I was uh riding and then <clears throat> Someone told me like, where's the videos? <laughs> uh, West, he has a channel as well. I was just talking to him, you know, saying uh, he would watch some of my videos and just get motivated and go out and work. And then um, the guy I just met too right now inside of ABC Seafood, he told me the same thing. That he got inspired and motivated. And you know, listening to that kind of stuff gets me motivated. And I'm like, oh man, I feel bad because like, I haven't record, I haven't posted a video in a while. And um, they motivated me to start recording today because I always take my 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 uh, GoPro Max with me. I always I always have it on me, even though I've gone days when I just wear it all day and and um, and I don't record. So you know, so when you guys uh, tell me you guys get motivated, it motivates me. So that's why I'm like recording today. I was like, you know what? It's been a while. I feel like I got a lot, a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> Cause sometimes I do feel like it's uh, repetitive. You know, I come out and um, when it's not busy and it's like kind of an uneventful, I don't really feel that encouraged to talk. You know, I feel like I'm maybe repetitive. And, but when I let some time go by, a lot of shit happens and things change up. And then, uh, you know, and yeah, just sometimes you just gotta find out. Uh, sometimes it's not motivated, so. You know, that having conversations with you guys does motivate me. So shout out to you guys <laughs> for, uh, you know, giving me that little boost of motivation sometimes. But anyway, yeah, it's been slow lately. It's been, uh, I've been out, like yesterday, I'll give you a good example. Yesterday and the day before, I've been out like almost 10 hours. And like, I think just barely hit 200 bucks. So it's really slow. Like I think if you average that, that's like fifteen dollars an hour. That's the minimum wage here. <laughs> so hopefully that Prop Twenty Two money kicks in next week. But even so, the Prop Twenty Two money is not even a lot more. Then it's gonna play music. I'm gonna have to pause it. I'm trying to get no copyright infringement. Happened. Some something that happened to me like a few weeks ago. I was riding right here and uh, some car like uh, I was riding right here on this street and some car passes by me like really fast just like that van did but it got really close to me that car it was a it was a purple Prius with one of those TV screens on top and you know he you know when they get really close to you they do it on purpose they do it to scare you which it did it did scare me and um and then i was coming across this red light this exact one and he was right here on this right where the toyota is and i was about to lane split and he like gets really close to this car on the left i guess he's trying to block me off you know he's trying to not like not let me go by i don't know why i, I really don't know why he was doing that i was like what the fuck and i was trying to squeeze in between the middle trying to pass him and then he opens his door and i'm like what the fuck and i start backing up and um, he's, so he's getting out of his car, like approaching me. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm about to get my, like, my pepper spray because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this guy's gonna do. And I also to try to let him know, like, hey, hey, you know, like, don't get near me. Like, dude, this guy goes back to his car, grabs something, and then, and then he like just maces my face. He does like the two lines, one, two. He just straight up makes me and I had like no time to like react and I didn't have my uh, my my uh, what do you call this shit? My visor down it, and I didn't have my face mask on either. Dude, the, that guy got me and I tried to catch up to him and uh, you know like just I was trying to get him back. But by the time like I took out my mace and I was dry and I had my mace on the left hand side and um and I was trying to throttle with my left hand, my, with my right hand, you know. But by the time I caught up, he got the other red light. He got this red light right here. But by the time I got to the red light, I'm like, damn, if I get close to him, he's going to make me probably some more. 
and by that time i couldn't even see like my eyes were already shutting i was like coughing like crazy like you know like getting mace is no joke and uh with my very with my very little vision that i had left i just turned left and i and i parked on that on that curve on that corner over there and i was just suffering <laughs> just dying bro oh my god i was so pissed that i was just like i was cleaning my face and i had a little bit of water left in here like maybe like one third i i poured it in my eyes and the guy was parked across the street he got out this car i don't know if he was saying anything but he was there for a cool minute and i'm just there fucking i can't do anything i, I really can't do anything and um eventually the guy just left and i'm just there i was there for a few minutes just trying to clean out my face as much as possible i had a towel wiping my face like all that shit just it helps a little bit but nowhere like you're you're basically done you, you're gonna you can't see for a while you have trouble breathing your face is burning like my face is burning for for a while oh and i ran out of water he got me man he got me good fucking asshole and then that day i did not have my camera with me i didn't have my gopro i didn't have my visor down i didn't have my face mask you know i was comfortable i was chilling like i i didn't have my setup that i normally have and that's where i fucked up and well yeah that happened uh let me grab this i'll continue the the story let me just grab this food so i i did have a delivery um at the time <laughs> that shit was still in my backpack i'm like damn i'm not gonna be able to complete this delivery it was only like two blocks away it was in one of these apartments here in little tokyo or arts district should i say and the guy left already i was there for like a good five minutes i can't remember what happened was i think it might have been doordash because i remember thinking i still got time to deliver i'll probably just do it and um i just tried to wipe my face as much as i could and uh i was able to open my eyes a little bit like i was barely able to see so i was like with that i drove down first street two blocks and i felt like it was just getting worse as the air was hitting me and uh, i finally got to the apartment and uh and i pulled into the curb i kind of i know the area so well that i just needed a little visibility for me to get like get by and yeah i made it to the apartments and i was so blind that i put the dial code i put the wrong one in because the wrong person of the uh, person answered that i got the wrong number uh then i had to dial it again like i looked i tried to look i had to put my phone up straight and uh get the number down and then i put the dial code again then i went up i'm just dying and everyone that was passing by me was just like what's wrong with this guy it probably looked like i was just crying like i was sobbing <laughs> that's how bad it was and i'm just like upset and i'm just like you know like just trying to like figure out what i'm gonna do well obviously i, I just did that delivery and I, and I was like i'm done i'm done for today i had only done a light, night shift too i didn't even work that morning i kind of just went out just to kind of go out for a bit make a little money i ended up going to worst Kush, this one place that sells beer and hot dogs and stuff i just went to the bathroom because i know you could just kind of walk in there wash my face with soap and water like like seven eight times it helped definitely helped and uh, i was like okay with this i can get home and i just rode all the way home like i just straight down alameda got home showered a bunch of times and after that i'm like all right i'm good my face just felt like you know like burned a bit still and i kind of just gathered my thoughts on everything that just went down i'm like god damn this guy straight up assaulted my ass and i couldn't record him to get his plates down like i knew if i made any type of report i didn't have enough information i'm like they gotta go through cameras and cameras usually they're not clear enough to get like a license plate number but there's just no way this guy got me and he got away but it was a it was a purple prius he was he was doing uber i could tell because he had his uber sticker it's like a purple prius and they had the the advertisement tv in the middle it was some middle age guy um and yeah he was just an asshole like for some reason he was pissed he just went by me to piss me off 
and then like um you know what that intersection where I, we were at where i was at right now where that guy was playing the music that light takes forever i think people get frustrated from waiting for so long that once they're taking off they're pissed and i and my records is slow it takes off slow so i think he was just pissed that i was just in front of him so he passed by me real close i think that's why i think that's why he might have gotten pissed and then when i try to lace play that's where he tried to block me who knows man but but now i'm like all right I'm never gonna go out without my GoPro. I'm never gonna go out without my face mask. And I'm always gonna put my goddamn visor down. Which I'm gonna do right now, goddamn it. Cause if I would have had this, my whole setup, I would have recorded him assaulting my ass. I would have got his plates. Cause I passed right by his car. I would have got his plates down. I was, so I would have been protected from him just basing me for no fucking reason at all. Um, I would have maced his ass if anything if I could have beat him to it <laughs> if I knew he was going to come at me like that I would have got him first but it, was, it all happened like in like a, like a couple seconds so I've been maced before I've, 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 I've accidentally uh, sprayed myself with bear, bear, uh, bear spray when I was backpacking that was terrible and bear spray is supposed to be a lot worse I took that one pretty good. Uh, this last time I got that this incident, I, that was pretty bad because I got it right in my eye. That shit went right in my eye. Uh, but yeah, guys, be careful. Pepper spray does its job though, because uh, it, it's like I, the reason I carry pepper spray is to de-escalate a situation, right? Because things like incidents, like let's say uh, someone's trying to fight you or whatever or someone's trying to rob you or whatever and in any opportunity like if you can mace them there's a very good chance you can get away and once you get away it's like afterwards people think about stuff and they're like ah you know what not worth it um or you get away from getting robbed or whatever it's a good de-escalator and that motherfucker just used it as a weapon though Which I don't know, he's, I don't know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know. Th those things can just happen at any time. But yeah, I was upset. And uh, he got me. Can't say nothing, I, there's nothing else I could do. But like I said, moving forward, I'm always going to have my GoPro with me. Even if I'm not going to record that day, I always have it just for security purposes. Anything, go, anything happens, I can always hit record and capture whatever is happening at that moment. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about that? I got maced in the face. <laughs> Damn it. Purple Prius. If you're watching this. Look, look, look. He did that. You see what that car just did? Just passed me. Like that. The car did that on this side. And, uh, and then, look, like always, they get the fucking red light. And we catch up. And they just end up looking like douchebags. Cause there was no purpose for that. But yeah, when I was when I caught up, I was going in between the lanes like I normally do. And he blocked me off. And that's when all that shit went down. So yeah, never going out without my GoPro. God damn it, I would have had to go, probably would have caught all of that on camera. You know what, it might have even prevented that from happening. Cause the guy, like if he would have like saw my GoPro there, the guys, people wouldn't do crazy shit if they know they're on camera. It's happened before where someone's like about to do something and they see the GoPro and, and, and they're like, their demeanor changes. Cause it's like, you're being filmed, bro. Whatever you do right now, someone is gonna see it or a lot of people are gonna see it. So just for that reason alone, people just rather not do anything. So it's a good, in a way, it's a good thing to prevent things from happening. So now moving forward, I'm not gonna have those days where I go out without my camera. It's not, I'm just always gonna have this with me. So, I mean, it'll be a good thing if you guys did that, I'll recommend it. Have a camera with you. At even 
I would say you could do the thing that a lot of these stores do. They'll put all these security cameras up, but they don't even work. It's just that whole, we're watching you, motherfucker, don't steal. <laughs> so you gotta, so people just won't do it for that. Well, I, I can't say people won't, but I think most people won't do certain things if there's a camera there. So even if you don't have one that works, just have one there, you know? I don't know, just a little tip. I wish I would have my GoPro that, that day. Like I said, it probably wouldn't have happened. All right, so I got delivery number one down, and I got number two. I'm in the city of Vernon, which is really close to my house. It's crazy that I live in this, like right up, like maybe a couple miles down. There's this big ass area where it's just industrial, just nothing but factories and big ass warehouses. And then south of my house is the, the, the ghetto. And then west of my house is even more ghetto. And north is uh, downtown LA, my office. <laughs> but every time I come to this area, I'm very tempted to go home. And you know what? I was going to go home. But because I'm, re I'm recording, thanks to those two guys that I saw earlier today, shout out to them, I'm going to keep working documenting a little bit of today see how it goes so far it's been okay i'll show you guys how much i have right now because i have no idea i'll check let's see i have uh 38 with uh uber eats and uh shit i might have lost my dash i had to restart my phone earlier because it was frozen for some weird reason yeah i'm pretty sure i lost my dash DoorDash has been trash though lately. I've been making like one third, one fourth of what I make on New Greets. Oh shit, I think my delivery is right here. Yes, it is. All right, guys, I'll be back. I was able to resume my dash with like 20 seconds left. Hell yeah. All right. So let's see. I just delivered these two. I got 45 bucks. Here, just to see, just to show you guys the comparison. And it's been like this, uh, this whole month. I got 45 bucks on Uber Eats and $11 on DoorDash. That's about right. So for every $100 that I make on Uber Eats, I'll probably have like 25 bucks, 30 bucks on DoorDash. Just cause it's been so, uh, I mean, my acceptance rate is like at 12%. You know how DoorDash has the that whole uh, higher priority for hi higher paying orders for those that have X percentage, a X uh, acceptance rate or higher. My acceptance rate is trash. Maybe that's why I'm not getting that many orders. Who knows? But if uh, DoorDash keeps playing these games with this priority, if they stick with it, which I'm pretty sure they are, I guess I'm gonna start using DoorDash less and less. But anyway, the point is that I've been making a lot less money on DoorDash. Today's Thursday. Oh shit. Damn, the big ass 16 wheeler scared the shit. Let me show you guys how much I've made so far on, on DoorDash. I made $169 so far this week. And in Uber Eats, I've made. 350 so one, 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 uh, 150 versus 350 so significant difference in earnings and I've worked every day <clears throat> this week I work Monday Tuesday no, I'll show you guys how much I made so Monday I only made six, 56 bucks Tuesday I only made 140 103 bucks yesterday was my best day 144 and today I'm at 45 but I just started let me show you guys the Monday I only made $14 on DoorDash <laughs> fucking trash <clears throat> DoorDash was okay on Tuesday I made uh, close to 100 bucks and today and then yesterday I made $50 
was uh, Wednesday. Today's Thursday. And these have been long days. I've been out uh, eight to ten hours. Terrible. I did I did work a little bit of the Hollywood area, Hollywood Silver Lake on Monday and Tuesday, because I missed uh, I didn't schedule myself for that day or downtown LA. It could also just be that market in Hollywood that's kind of slow. But yeah, so I don't know how how have you guys uh, been with the business? Has it been slow for you guys? I mean, I expected it to be slow. I expected it to be slow in January. Super slow in January. I'll talk more about that later. So we got a brace for a very slow uh, new year. As it usually uh, starts off with food delivery. And then, then I'll tell you a few of the factors of why I think it gets slow. And why it has been slow in the past. So what, is, what happens for New Year's? People uh, set their New Year's resolutions, right? New, new Year, people want to start fresh. They want to, you know, do all the things they know they're supposed to be doing. And hopefully start fresh. And do it every day for the whole year, which is really unrealistic. You know you're going to fuck up. We're human. But usually in the beginning of the year, people do all the things that we all want to do. Go to the gym every day, eat healthy, work out, and you know, like, work, focus on work, don't focus on all the shit that wastes time and money. So, one of the things that people do is they go to the gym, they, they cook, they meal prep. Um, so, what, what, so, which is great, all great things, but one thing that, and then they, Here's another thing that people do. They watch what they spend. They kind of look at what they're spending. They analyze all their, whether where they're putting their money in. And food delivery is expensive, guys. Like, if you want to order a meal for yourself and the meal costs 15 bucks, you're going to spend around $30 for that. You know, with the taxes, which the uh, food apps have hidden taxes. Um, or do they just have taxes for all these particular things? And then there's uh, obviously the food delivery fee, which applies depending on location and distance. And then the other thing is tip, right? All that shit is gonna do almost double the price. So in the beginning of the year, people are like, man, fuck that. I'm not gonna spend all that money on food delivery. I'm gonna need to cut down. And at least they're gonna cut down, right? Maybe they might not eliminate it completely, but they'll cut down on it. So, and then there's that, then there's you working now. So you don't want to just eat food, just anything. You, know, you have probably a particular diet. So all these things, you know, it's going to cost for a, a slower a beginning of the year. Here's another reason why people want to work and make more money. So they'll do all these side hustles to make that extra money, meaning the market gets saturated. So there's less people ordering food and there's more people trying to do this. So saturation, people just cutting back on spending money and, and uh, you know, people just watching what they eat and all that. It's gonna make for a very slow January and a slow December. It gets busy, it gets slow around this time too. But what do you guys think? How, how you guys predict January is gonna be because all that shit goes down the tra down the drain when people start getting income tax returns. Once they got start getting their fat ass checks, it all goes down the drain. <laughs> they all go back to their their uh, normal behaviors. <clears throat> That's when we can start making money on food delivery. People are like, hell yeah, let me treat myself. I've been doing good for the whole month of January. About to give me this big ass meal with this big check I just got from income tax. <laughs> and there it goes it all goes downhill from there which means business goes up starts getting a little warmer people start uh i don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think about how we got a brace for uh, for impact brace for a uh, slow month um what are you guys gonna do huh to cope 
on a, on any regular month uh, throughout the year I would get orders like I'll get one every like few seconds maybe a minute or so but lately it's been I've been doing like five ten minutes without getting any any pings and yeah some will come through here and there but they're just the ones that everyone's been declining <laughs> like those three dollar four dollar ones like here's a five dollar five dollars and fifty cent order it's 1.3 miles which doesn't sound very bad but it's in the it's in the little tokyo plaza it's pretty easy to get to the restaurant should take like only like 30 seconds to go in and out i don't pick up there enough so i want to know if it's going to be ready when i get there pretty close distance maple is going to be around the shopping area should i take it no <laughs> i think i would have took that if it was like seven or eight bucks so this one is from forever it's ten dollars it's only 1.2 miles that's a no-brainer 10 bucks so well, let's go get that <clears throat> did i tell you guys how much i had i already forgot 45 and 11 that's 56 plus whatever tips and i just got 10 dollars, so that's 65. that's something i don't do when i'm working uh when i'm not recording i'm not i'm not keeping track of how much i have every once in a while i'll check like how much do i have oh that sucks i only have this much but uh, when i'm recording i i uh, add it up and because i want to let you guys know where i'm at at the same time i'm kind of letting myself know where i'm at so fall so 65 is all right for 12 13 i'm gonna say it's been busier than the other the other days of the week so getting a little motivation here cool had a delivery here on this side of Olive which is very rare we usually have to deliver through the other side on Hill but I thought I was gonna have a problem but the guy came right out so that's good and I got a, I picked up a simply salad delivery for nine bucks which is really good so let's go to this one So they're coming in slowly but getting some all right ones i started at 9 30 today so i've been out here three hours so far i've only made well after this one is going to be 20 bucks on new doordash and 20 on uber eats how much is that 70 that's like 20 dollars no 20 23 dollars an hour right about 23.33 that's uh that's definitely slower less than what i was making when i was busier so on on a normal busy day a normal busy downtown la it's about 35 an hour on a slight like a regular like a regular average busy day leaning towards the slower side will be 25 and it's super dead i want to get a job type of day it's like a 15 dollar an hour type that's kind of been how it's how it's uh, been lately and i'm gonna lie I, I, getting a job has crossed my mind just to be indoors <laughs> for the winter time not necessarily for the income it's just so because it's cold it gets cold as hell out here <clears throat> but also the money you'll be like what getting paid 15 an hour for this shit i might as well chill in the office get paid hourly and be on my phone all day because that's how these minimum wage jobs are actually it depends it depends because i could work in a faster restaurant and just be busy from the second I clock in to the second I clock out but uh I remember I had a buddy of mine who uh oh 
well, I remember my buddy of mine, he was, he was going to school and he got a job strategically for what he likes to do and to go to school. He got a, he got a, par, a job as a parking attendant. Like one of those people that hang out in the box, in the little box, when you're going in and out of the parking lot. Because he could just read and just do homework. So that's like a very smart job to get um, while you're doing something else, you know? So sometimes you gotta do that. You gotta strategize the right job if you wanna do something on the side. So I thought that was genius. I'm like, that makes so much sense. Motherfucker likes to read. He was going to school at the time. So it just makes sense. It makes sense to have a job where they can, you have a lot of downtime basically. And you don't have some bosses like, well, you can't be on your phone. And you can't be reading a book. Like, motherfucker, there's nothing to do. I'm just stuck right here in this reception office. Like, what do you want me to do? Just sit here like a robot and just look straight at? Like, come on now. But some bosses are really just unfair like that. Avoid those jobs at all costs. Um, but yeah, so I guess that one is, it, well, that's a pretty good way of doing it. So here, when it's getting cold during wintertime, I would like maybe like, a, if I did consider it, I would do it so I can work on my business, work on the Crank Hustle website, work on sending up events, work, you know, maybe replying to some of these emails and messages I get all the time while I'm getting paid my hours. So be productive while you're still getting paid. It's kind of smart. Will I do it? Probably not. But uh, yeah, just kind of something. Throwing that out there, I guess. I did think about, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's my point. I was thinking about that, just cause it, it's gonna get really cold, it's gonna get really cold. Did I just say the, the same thing twice? It's gonna get really slow and it's gonna get really cold. There you go, that's what I meant. So, I know a couple buddies of mine have gotten a job for the winter, you know, until it gets busy again. All right, go for it, do it. Sometimes it's a good idea. I wonder if you guys, is anybody here watching this? Are you guys getting a job for the winter? Or do you guys ever get a job during winter? While it gets really cold? One thing that I have done is I've done, I have done gone out in my car at night, which is totally not worth it to do delivery just cause it's cold. I'll give you an example. Yesterday or two days ago, I put $15 uh, to see how, how much it'll last me and how much money I'll make back. Man, that shit was so slow. I literally wasted all that gas and I only made 15 bucks. So I literally just made that money back. That's it. I made no money. So it made no point. <laughs> I was just warm in my car. So at least that was cool. But what are you guys doing? Are you guys getting little side jobs? For when it gets busy? Oh, also, I completely forgot to bring this up. There's a whole recession thing, you know? People getting let go. People watching their spending habits. That's another big factor in, in food deliveries completely forgot about bringing that up in my earlier um, argument of why it gets slow during uh, the beginning of the year. On top of that is the, it's the inflation the, and the recession. That's also another reason why people are watching their money. I'm watching my money now. I'm like, alright, I can't be eating out all the goddamn time. Let's we'll start meal prepping because uh, shit's going to get slow. Also, this uh, this is just I'm just speaking for downtown LA. How has it been for you guys? If you guys are in different markets, uh, have you guys uh, has it been getting slow for you guys or busier? I'm thinking maybe in some areas where it gets really crazy cold, people don't even want to go out and do this kind of work. That's kind of somewhere where you might want to take advantage and be equipped and actually go out in those cold rainy days and you know you you'll be one of uh maybe there won't be that many maybe it won't be saturated like downtown la how's it been the experience for you guys in uh, other markets
Let me know. Deliver to a strip club. The famous or the infamous, should I say? Sam's Hot Brow. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's a strip club here by Yoshinoya. I've delivered vegan food there before to a girl. He was going to a dude. Part of the DJ, security, bartender. She could be a stripper too, shit. Can't be discriminating. John probably be getting um, down on the on the pole. No. In today's world, shit. Who knows what the John look like? John though. Alright, I'm about to deliver real quick. This is it on the left. <laughs> Sans hot brown. They got a metal detector? Jesus. Times are hard. It was a customer. He came out, I gave him the bag. He walked back in, went through the metal detector, and the security guard chased him in there. Hey, anything could be in that bag, you know? As a security guard, I'd be like, wait, wait, wait. I gotta check the contents of that paper bag real quick. It could be a sneaky way of sneaking in a gun, you know? A couple days ago, it was uh, shocking to me how much miles I've ridden. It started around 10 o'clock. And um, I guess I was like gonna go home already. And I just checked to see how many miles I've had. I had 100 and 111 miles ridden. I'm like, damn, and I've only made like under 200 bucks. Like, how is that possible? And then I realized, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm just riding around when I'm not doing any deliveries or when I'm waiting for them. Like I normally do park somewhere and just wait. Like I read, like probably 95% of the time I'm riding and uh, waiting for deliveries. Cause it doesn't really cost me that much. Maybe five bucks right now. Right now gas went down finally. It's finally under $5 a gallon. So it's like five bucks for like 80, 90 miles I'd say. So I just ride around all day, waiting for deliveries. But I notice that my ass will start kind of feeling a little discomfort. Damn, this building's gonna be sick. You know, as I gotta move around, but I notice my ass feeling a little, a little sore. But it's from sitting on this motherfucker all day. You know, usually when it's busy, you're constantly walking around. You're walking inside the restaurant, walking out, walking to the apartment. You know, walking down the halls and stuff like that, you're more active. And when it's slower, you're kind of just sitting around all day, like right now. I should just take these low ass pain order ones. All right, let's take the $7 one. Fuck okay. it. Togo. It's gonna go somewhere around where Dash Mart is. Better making some money than no money, huh? delivery for like well this one that I'm doing right now is the $7 one and I got another one along the way for $4.50 man I don't normally take these but the directions the house in the back with the red and black curtains ghetto as fuck and I'm ghetto all right, let's do it. For four dollars and fifty cents. All right, I'll take it. He's gotta pick up at Chipotle. Go the same way. I'm going. I'm already going. I got that Uber Eats one down. Let's go do this. Uh, no tip. Ghetto delivery. <laughs> or in the ghetto delivery with a ghetto description delivery out let's go see hopefully I have no problems I gotta go to a back house which uh, gotta be careful with those especially in the hood because uh, you could spook someone in the other house in the same property 
So if it's the back house, you got people in the front house. Those are most like, more like those could have pets too. They could have dogs. Usually when there's it's apartments. Or if it's like a yeah, if it's apartments or if it's like a building with multiple units, normally they don't have a dog just running around loose. But sometimes if it's like a property that's like a back house and then a front house. That's where you might have pets and you just got to be careful. Watch out for signs, dog signs. Watch for if you see dog shit or if you see a... One big sign to look for is whenever you see like the grass kind of like... It's like patchy but there's like dirt trails where there's clearly been dogs running back and forth that they start making kind of like a little trail you gotta watch for little signs like that dog toys just because sometimes people don't have dog signs you can walk and um the neighbor could order food and uh because that 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 dog owner probably won't order food you know because they know they got a crazy ass dog but the neighbor that's a different story but yeah, like I said, usually apartments and stuff like that don't have a dog running around. It's just like single house, like if it's just one person in the property or maybe split for the front or back house, those are more likely to have pets. Just gotta be careful. In the hood, yeah, you know, they'll probably have a dog and what are the chances of them being trained? Oh, the other day I delivered to a house and they had a husky. But those motherfuckers don't bark at all. They don't even get crazy. They're just he's just chilling there. I had to deliver to the porch and he was like like kinda in a short fence next to the porch. Just chilling, just sitting there. Like he's almost like human like. He didn't even pay attention to me. He didn't even look at me like a threat. He's just like, hey, what's up, bro? He didn't even like get all excited or start wagging his tail. Just stood his ground, just, yeah, what's up? Another afternoon. And he's like, oh, you deliver food? Cool. It's right there. That's 4652. That's right there. I could have sworn he looked at me like that. I was like, damn. I had a husky for a while. But it's crazy. Very intelligent dogs. They talk. The motherfuckers talk. I think that's one of the dogs that comes close to speaking than any other breed. I don't know much about dogs too. I'm learning. Like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. Like started learning late about dogs. I never paid attention, like the breeds and all that. But yeah, huskies. They they talk. I've seen videos online too. They'll have long ass arguments. They'll throw tantrums. They'll just start talking back to you. You know. Yeah. The the very short time that I had one. Um. I got to experience that. <laughs> Pretty cool. But uh, my dog was hella disobedient. Every time I open the gate, he'll just run. He'll run out. I'll have to go chase after him in the ruckus. And uh, and, the re and I lost him. He ran away. And uh, it was the time that I injured my leg. Because I, I would chase him down in the scooter. But then I'll have to jump off and like grab him, you know? Cause he'll run away and then that time my leg i had injured i twisted it back and uh, i knew that i wasn't gonna i mean i could get to him but i wasn't gonna be able to jump off and grab him i was like there's just no way no way i'm getting this this dog back what was his name we, we uh, adopted him someone wanted to get rid of him it didn't take long for me to figure out why they got rid of him. <laughs> I'm like, this guy is just trouble. Poor dog, I didn't have time for him. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking ran away. Crazy. <laughs> the exact thing I described right now is exactly what just happened. I went to it and the house is a back house. They had a gate. And they have a dog, a little puppy chained up to the fence. And they have another dog on the porch. And um, 
and then the the grass is kind of like patchy you know you can tell like there's a dog living there so bird uh, dog poop i was like man i am not gonna walk to the back of the house i don't know if there's another bigger dog so i just waited in the front and i was calling but the customer came out so that's cool there's that one on the left i just passed that's funny <laughs> I'm discriminating on my own hood. I mean, stereotyping, you know, like, but that's, that's what it is. I grew up here. I already know how the hood is. The ghetto. All right. So we got, let's see. 24 bucks on Uber, on DoorDash and 67 on how much is that? That's uh, 80 something. 80, 80 something. No, wait, wait. 24 plus 67. Damn, I haven't been doing these additions and subtra- uh, additions. Is, I'm kind of rusty, see, for not filming. Messed up my addition. All right, 67 plus four. 90, it's 90, 91. Let's see if I'm right. If not, I need some goddamn caffeine. 24 plus 67, 91, yeah. All right, I still got it, I still got it. I was uh, listening to a Joe Rogan podcast recently, and the guy he was interviewing, he has a, uh, he has a YouTube channel name is Mark and the YouTube channel is called Soft White Underbelly um, uh, and in this ch- in that channel what he does is he just interviews people right but the interesting part is who he interviews he does a lot of his work here in Chris uh, Skid Row Skid Row for those of you that don't know it's this area here in downtown LA or east of downtown LA where there's just a concentrated area of homeless people and uh, he interviews a lot of them you know he pays them for their time or pays people whoever brings someone to to get interviewed or um, but he just interviews a lot of people from different um, backgrounds and it's so interesting because you know working in downtown LA you see homeless people walking around. You see the the drug addicts, you know, losing it. You see crazy things popping off. And uh, I've always said that, you know, there's a lot of thieves that are walking around here. A lot of opportunists. You know, people are just kind of like walking around looking for opportunity to steal something because, I mean, they need money for whatever reason. They're fixed. And uh, these interviews... Uh, I mean, I, I see the outside of it. I experience it from my point of view, right? And uh, this interview kind of gives me the other side because he's interviewing the drug addicts, the the the, the meth heads, the uh, drug dealers, the pimps, the prostitutes, the uh, you know all the other homeless people. And it's insane because you know. It's just their story and how they got to that position. And uh, here, speaking of that, damn. It's the homeless person right here. Ass all out and everything. Jesus. Oh, God damn. I just got a... I just got a hit of that smell. That stink. And, uh... Yeah, so in that channel, he just talks about it. So it's interesting to hear the mindset behind that, you know? Some people just seem totally normal, and they're just, like, addicted. They're, they're addicted to a certain type of drug, and they lose everything, and they end up here in, in Skid Row because Skid Row, you get a lot of resources when you have nothing. Sometimes there's a little bit of housing here. They got needle exchange. Um, they, you know, a lot of people come here to give away free food and there's people with programs for free, free food and, and there's also other people who are just homeless and, you know, people find their spot here. So it's just interesting what these people say, how they got to this point, 
what they were doing before. Some people actually get out of it. Some people actually, you know, rebuild their lives. Um, they go to um, cleanse or they're fighting addiction. It's like everyone has a story and it's so interesting. And I've just been binging on those things, just listening to it. And it actually has helped me kind of have a better understanding of of, of people here. And it kind of has made me a little bit more um, empathetic, I guess is the word. Just having listening to their stories because to me it's more like, man, like, you know, I come out here and try to make money. And I've gotten a bike stolen before. I've gotten little things taken off of my bike, like small things like lights. And I've learned to adapt. I've learned to not show anything because... If they see something, they're going to try to steal it. But uh, I'm more like, motherfuckers, get a job or stop touching my shit. You know, I work so hard. So I'm kind of more angry towards them. And I'm listening to a lot of these stories. Uh, it's kind of, it kind of makes you feel for them. Because they got rough ass um, upbringings. They got trauma. Like I said, addiction. A lot of these addictions came from trauma. And it's just mind blowing. I'm like, God damn, that sucks, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's, it's true what they say. Everyone has a struggle. So I guess it has built that more of a empathetic approach towards it. I mean, I'm still gonna be like, always um, coming out here with more like, watch your back, be careful. Like, that's just uh, more of a defense mechanism. But yeah, more of the, that channel has made me, help me see more of like, their struggles that goes on their side. Now, there, I know there's a lot of things that, that they, they say a lot of things in their interview, and I think a lot of people, and it seems from my experience from listening to it, I'm not gonna tell you everything, right? But uh, yeah, so far it's been pretty pretty crazy. Uh, it's pretty insightful. I recommend it. If you guys work downtown LA, I strongly recommend you guys listening to the stories. Watch the channel. So it's, uh, it's called the Soft White Underbelly. Very, very interesting. I think just to, I think most people should watch that. Uh, check out the channel. Just watch those interviews. Some are very entertaining. The most entertaining ones are the uh, the uh, girls with the. Uh, the escorts and the strippers <laughs> they got stories man it's pretty uh it's pretty pretty, pretty entertaining and sometimes could be funny but check them but check it out you're learning a thing or two and i'm definitely taking this one movie goers out there check out this street right here it comes out in a lot of movies a lot of movies this little area here. This skeleton building here on the left, this structure, you guys will probably recognize that one more than anything. And obviously all the homelessness and... What's one movie that came out in? Oh, and that new one, um, Ambulance. By, uh, what's that guy's name? The guy that likes to blow up everything. Make it all the Transformers. Fuck, I completely forgot his name. That director. That's one movie, the little drone scene. That with that police chase, they're chasing the ambulance. There's a few other movies. There's shows too that are taking place there. Um, but yeah, the, that's a very popular place. People like to rent out to uh, film. Um, but yeah, I gotta pick up at a call at a coffee shop. Oh, it's probably gonna be in here. First time. Oh, here it is. First time picking up here. It's a nice place. It's kind of quiet here. Should do a meetup right here. Speaking of meetup, I got a, I found a good place to do meetups finally. A, a nice parking lot where no one will bother us. Uh, coming soon. We should have one before the year ends. These cup holders are dope. They have the little little thing there to hold the cup in place. So because it's nice and secure I won't need to put them in the, my cup holder it looks like it. it looks like they'll be fine can I close this you know what let me close it 
just for I got two more pickups for DoorDash for 16 bucks. It's going a little bit towards uh, like Rampart area. All right, let's do it. DoorDash and where's the other place? Oh fuck, it's a flower shop. God damn it, I'm gonna get some flowers. All right, so be it. Pick up. So I got that, and then I got these flowers. Check it out. Oh, have an idea of where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna use my uh, my keys. Just lock them in right here. There we go. So I use my uh, little clip to kind of secure it on my uh, steering wheel here, my handlebars. And it's a great height, perfect height. So that works. Does it? Yep. <laughs> Check it out. Sweet. Doesn't mess with my steering or anything. All right. So now next is uh, let's go drop these copies off. It's gonna be the first delivery. Then, dang, I gotta go far. I am gonna take the flowers with me though. Wait, should I? Yeah, because it's my keys and the flowers. So I'm just gonna carry with me to uh, to the uh, to this delivery. Because uh, I don't wanna leave them out here in the open. Like I said, got opportunists walking around. I don't want to tempt nobody. Even just regular ass people. People are going to be like, ooh, that'll be nice for my girl. This guy. I get it. That's how, that's how motherfuckers get hit. People doing illegal ass U turns. That's how I got hit. So I ain't shy to honk at them. I was uh, I delivered that the coffee deliveries and I got one right away by Uber Eats for uh, 13 bucks it's headed the same way like exactly the same way Let's see if I'll make it on time I got uh, 10 yeah I'll make it sweet it's that dune it's just right here $13 on top of whatever I had already. Whatever I have already. Let's do it. It's not going to take me very long to do this delivery. Let's do a new turn. Pick up. Right. Make sure I don't mess up these flowers. What's up? This one's going kind of more towards Silver Lake. It's on the other side of the 101, this last one I picked up. And these two, it's just right below that. So it lined up perfectly. Let me see the second delivery though. All right, this one's on the other side of the freeway. Cool. Yeah, they're all nearby. So I shouldn't have a problem. I do have a problem though with this traffic. I picked the wrong street to drive on so I'm going to have to do a little bit of lane splitting to get to the front so 
so I don't waste that much time. It's gonna be a tight one. Broadway doesn't have that much space. Let's give it a shot. Yep, it's gonna be a tight one. We need to get out of the street though. Broadway doesn't very doesn't flow very well. Oh, made it to the front. All right, I should make a left here, but I would only do it if this light turns green to turn left, which I think it might. Nope, did it. All right, let's go. Let's just go straight. Let's see if I make it. I made it before, but my record has been slowing down a bit. Oh my God, it almost did make it. I think I gotta change the rollers on this thing or something because I lost a little bit of my top speed. It uh, tops out at 36 miles per hour. Uh, I haven't looked at it and see what it is, but these things after a while they're slowing. And, oh shit, it should have clipped. I almost handed the flowers to the wrong person. <laughs> I thought it was for uh, this delivery, but it wasn't. I'm holding the bag, I'm holding the flowers and the customer is about to come to the door and I realize, wait, oh, this is the wrong person. So I go switch the, the bags. That was funny. Uh, I'm about to hit the same downhill. And when I struggle to go up on, I'm going to hit it up real quick. I'm going kind of fast. I shouldn't go this fast. It even says slow. Oh! oh. That was cool. That's it for uh, that delivery. Got them all done. So I am going to take a break. It's 2.16, it's gonna start slowing down right now. So a good time to take advantage and go eat something. Uh, we'll see how much I've made so far. Uh, so I got 86 on Uber Eats. This is not including whatever tips should be coming in. Let's just round it up to 87 because it was 86.92. So I'm gonna round it up to 87. And uh, oh shit, little squirrel just ran in front of me. Right past me. Shit. And I got 40 on uh, DoorDash, which is really good. I have not done this well in a while. That's uh, 87. 117, I think. So it's all right, decent. And I'm gonna go take a break, go eat, all that good stuff. Let's take this little alley. Off-roading, baby. Getting an Uber Eats delivery. Damn, 15 bucks, go to go all the way back to... Yeah, we kind of dumb if I don't take this. I'll take a break after this. This is gonna put me back in downtown LA, so let's go ahead and do it. 15 bucks. I guess I'm not gonna take a break yet. 15 bucks should put me at 132. Cool, let's do it. I'll take a break after this. Hide somewhere. Got 95 and uh 40 so 135 baby taking a break wow but i am gonna wrap up the video uh i'll have a part two for the rest of the day i did that last time it worked out pretty well i was doing that for no rest november kind of enjoyed how that was so it'll be two separate videos of the same day Makes the video shorter, easier to consume. Y'all wanna see the rest of the day? Part two, baby.
which will come out like later on that day but uh yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for hanging out i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.